Hey ladies and gentlemen, Steven here from the YouTube channel Red Lessons. Thank you so much for tuning in. I really appreciate you guys coming back in and watching my videos. It really means a lot to me. I have Carlos joining me once more. Hello, hello. And today we're going to be reviewing the brand new fragrance by the company Perfumology. And this one is called Clutch. So stay tuned. So Clutch is a fragrance that was released this year in 2018. Mm -hmm. It's actually one of two fragrances by the brand that were released this year. The one before it, Grange, mm -hmm. was also released in 2018. And then their first fragrance was Bliss. So we have three fragrances all together. That's right. First there was Bliss, then there was Grange, and now we have Clutch. <laughs> I love it. So Bliss is a plum-based scent, or I get a lot of plums, so I call it a plum-based scent. And it was a love letter that Near Guy, the owner of Perfumology, which is a store in uh, King of Prussia Mall, in King of Prussia, Pennsylvania, he, uh, not him, but a perfumer by the name of Justin Federico, made that fragrance, and it was kind of supposed to be Near Guy's uh, love letter to his wife. Grange, the second offering, is named after the Grange Estate in Pennsylvania. And this one is supposed to make you feel like you're driving a car on a cool night, windows rolled down, leather seats, smoke in the air. And uh, so we'll talk a little bit about that. But before we start, I do want to disclose that this was sent to us for review uh, by Near Guy, but obviously all opinions are our own. So um, I guess we'll just start off with you. What do you get from this fragrance, first impression, as soon as it opens up? There's a big dose of vanilla that I really love. It's definitely gourmandy. It's bright. It's um, like a nice uh, sweet vanilla with a bit of brightness around it. Yeah. And as it dries down, it gets a little darker, like maybe a little leathery and, and woody. Yeah, I think I, I agree with you on that. So it does have a note of smoke or an accord of smoke, according to Fragrantica. It also has red cedar. It has juniper berries. It has elemi resin. Okay. And so it has a lot of darker, leathery, resinous ingredients. But I agree with the first thing that you said, that you get an overdose of vanilla. I mm -hmm. also do get a lot of vanilla. So it opens up with this very sort of spicy vanilla. I do get a little bit of cinnamon in there. Um, there is no cinnamon listed as a note. There is ginger listed as a note, however. And it kind of smells like a clay vanilla like a Play-Doh vanilla, kind of like Vanille Fatale by Tom Ford. I've been smelling that kind of vanilla yeah. lately a lot for some reason. But mm -hmm. I know exactly what you mean. Mm -hmm. But I like it though. I still like it. The opening of this fragrance, I would say, is the best. It opens up with this sort of, um, I call it a cross between El Born by Carner Barcelona, where it's kind of like a little, uh, you said alcohol -y or boozy. And then um, I also get a little bit of Barahonda by mm -hmm. Nasamato in there. But the vanilla is like the Tom Ford Vanille Fatale vanilla. Yeah. Okay. I can concur with that. <laughs> Definitely can. So it's kind of like a fusion of those uh, fragrances, if you will. So I really enjoy this fragrance and the fact that it reminds me of some other fragrances that I love. Um, Elborn being one of them. Those of you who have watched my top fall list, I think it was from last year, you would know that. I love Elborn. Um, it's a great one. It even it made number one on my list. Mm -hmm. And so for this one, that opening to sort of remind me of that, obviously I'm going to really enjoy this one as well. Um, I would say the main difference between this one and Elborn is that this one um, kind of loses a lot of that booziness. Yes. And then as it dries down, um, more of like the woodsy, leathery, resinous components start to I come agree, out. I agree, I agree. And as far as the smoke note or accord is concerned, I don't think it's in there explicitly. It doesn't pop off my skin a smoky type note. I get everything else except the smoke. Yeah, I know. So I don't get, like, it doesn't smell like a city on fire. It doesn't smell like Black Tourmaline by Olivia Durbano. It, do, it doesn't have the birch or the cade oil. T-Rex by make, Zoologist. Or T-Rex by Zoologist, which is right behind you. Hello, T-Rex. Um, hey there. But I think that... It is a nice fragrance, and I think if you're a fan of vanilla, you're really going to enjoy this one. If you're a fan of boozy scents, you're also going to enjoy this one for like the first five minutes of its life. And if you've been a fan of the previous two, I think it's a solid story within the three, and they kind of are in the same vein, or not that they smell like each other, but they wear kind of the same, mm. and the person who likes things in greens will find things in this that they'll love. You know, Bliss might be a little more feminine than the other two, but more so Grange, you'll like this one. Okay. 
yeah, there's this sort of raw, unadulterated quality about them. Now, of course, they all fit into different genres and classifications. So Grange is very green. Uh, Bliss has this fruity component about it. This one is very vanillic and boozy. And so they are different from just a genetic standpoint. They're composed very differently, but they all have that raw feeling about them where you can sort of tell it was the same person that worked on all three of them. But all in all, I think it's a solid release, For right? For sure. Yeah, I think What's it's really the price point? I, I forget. I will put an annotation right here. Okay. But I remember, as with the uh, previous two releases from the house, they were pretty affordably priced for, um, I guess you could say, a niche fragrance, or some might even classify it as an indie fragrance. And they are upgrading their presentation little by little. Yes, this, this is a new packaging, mm -hmm. which, unfortunately, once you open it, you can't close it again. But yeah, it sits in here. And this is like... Um, it's shock absorbent. So you can drop it, and he actually did a demonstration when we had an event there a couple months ago. He put a bottle in here, and he just threw it on the floor. And the, somebody said to him, did you, did you do that purposely? And he goes, yeah, I wanted to show you that it, it, it won't break, even if you drop it. And these are made like from recycled, it's in that mentality. I think of, so, like eco-friendly. Yeah. and mm -hmm, yeah. But the only thing about it, it is that you can't reseal it. Yeah, I know. It has that, a wax that, seal. Bump. Yeah. There's another brand, and I think, man, what is it called? We Glossier, just... that has a rubber band yes. that holds the two pieces mm -hmm. together. So, I, Nir, if I you're watching, you might want to consider that. Maybe put, like, a rubber band that you can sort of take off and put back And on. also, another house that we've done is um, Essential Parfum. Uh -huh. They had the same oh, kind of thing. yes. But right. the, this thing, kind of, um, there was a, a spot to insert it into, so okay, you could okay. reclose it again. But in any case, I think it's a solid release from the House of Perfumology. If you're a fan of vanilla scents and boozy scents, this is up your alley. If you're in the uh, wheelhouse of something perhaps that's a bit brighter, fresher, more green, then I think you will enjoy Grange, and I think that that's quite a green scent. But all in all, solid release. So once again, Nir, thank you very much for giving myself and Carlos the opportunity to review this fragrance on my channel. It really does mean a lot to us. If you are a newcomer to this channel and you wait, did wait, take... Wait, wait, wait. Are you signing off? You yeah, said... I was signing off. You forgot what to... happened? You, you, forgot... you interrupted me. We... Sorry. <laughs> we have a giveaway. <laughs> okay. Oh, forgot. yeah, that's right. We do have a giveaway. Okay. <laughs> so thank you, Carlos. I almost forgot. So yes, there is a giveaway. So there's going to be a full-size bottle uh, to one lucky winner. All you have to do is leave a comment down below and let us know um, which one of the three fragrances would appeal the most to you is it bliss grange or the one that we're reviewing today and then i will select a winner in one week's time i will pin the comment to the top of the comment section so make sure to check back in here in one week's time to see if you've won and yes continental u.s only yes and it's this it's not a choice of it's this one in and particular. it is for clutch yes, yes the fragrance of review today i just wanted to clarify that or maybe you. leave a comment down below with what you enjoyed most about today's video how's that does that work for you bud it sounds a little too familiar all but right all right okay. i'll okay. accept that too <laughs> <laughs> all right guys so thank you so much for tuning in carlos's information will be down below as well we really appreciate you guys we love you guys we'll see you in the next episode take care bye